I got my first knock on the van door last night. And I'm not talking like a, hello, more like a, and that's no exaggeration. Thanks. It was about 11.55 p.m. And I was like literally probably asleep maybe five minutes. You know when you're sleeping and you just, that first little bit you are out to lunch? I can hear this banging. And I thought it was in a dream. And then it just like bang, 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 bang. And then I felt Disco move because, well, you know, it takes a lot to wake his ass up. But anyway, Disco got up and moved and then I kind of perked up a bit and the banging continued and it was loud. It was on my, down by my feet, right on the side of the van and it felt like he was like open handedly banging on the van. Then as soon as I jumped up, Disco started to growl and bark. Otherwise, he's pretty quiet and didn't react at all. But then I was like, all right, what's going on? So I quickly put a shirt on. I was in my underwear still. I put my shirt on, ripped the divider curtain down. I didn't peek. I ripped it down, I seen nothing in front of me. So I jumped over onto the driver's seat and I seen four-way flashers on a car behind me. It was a BMW SUV, a nice vehicle. I didn't see anybody, so I looked out the other side mirror. I still didn't see anybody. Then a gentleman walked around the side of the van and I rolled down the window and said, what's up? And being a true Canadian, he was like, sorry, so sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. He must have said sorry like, I don't know, 10 times. True Canadian. And he apologized. He said, look, we're looking for a lady named Laura. She lives in a van just like yours. She's family. We can't get a hold of her. And we're really concerned for her. Do you know of any other vans like yours in the area? Or do you know who Laura is? And Disco was like still like snorting and growling. He was pretty damn protective. The bang didn't get him going. It was me and my reaction that got him going. But anyway, Disco popped up on the window. The guy's like, you know, he pet Disco and he's like, I wish I had a pepperoni stick for your dog. So sorry for waking you guys up and startling you. Yeah, that was my first knock. I wasn't worried, nor was I scared. I was like shaking though, because it got my adrenaline just pumping. But maybe it's because I live in Canada that I wasn't really concerned and people are kind of friendly here. I wasn't, I'm not the guy that gets scared about that kind of stuff because for one, well, this is my house. I have some viewers, mostly from the US that ask me about safety and my concerns and what am I gonna do if this, what am I gonna do if that? I think things may be different in some parts of the US for you to make you concerned about this kind of stuff. I've never lived an ounce of my life with even like, even the tiniest bit of fear about anything. Not about crime and, and my home and people like robbing me while I'm in it. I don't know if it's just because things don't fly like that in this country. Sure, you may get things like that that happen, but not enough to make you worry about sleeping in your vehicle and your safety. I honestly feel safer in my van than I think any condo, I think. Because in a van, if something goes wrong, you just move, you go somewhere else. If something doesn't feel right about where you are, you just move. Where if you lived in a condo, apartment, or a house, whatever, and you had bad neighbors, drug house next door, parties, whatever, that's problematic because that's your permanent grounded home. You can't leave your neighbors. I can, I just drive somewhere else. So in a van, it's kind of a bit safer in my opinion because you could move to places that make you feel good and get away from the places that don't. I don't worry about my safety in the van. And I don't think most people should worry about stuff like that. I think a lot of people overdo thoughts in their mind and overthink 
everything when it comes to stuff and then what happens is they get paranoid and worrisome and then they hear a little noise like a twig hitting the roof of the van they're like what was that what was that what was that outside instead of just calming down going well i guess i should move away from this tree because i hear things hitting the roof Okay, for one, nobody's gonna knock on your roof. If they are, well, you got Spider-Man or some weird ninjas in your neighborhood, and you probably might not wanna sleep in a neighborhood that's full of crazy ninjas that are knocking on your roof in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? Like, just, guys, like, van life is safe. It's safe. I would say this is probably safer than any other place you could live. Because think of, like, little things like this. Oh, big crime spree in your neighborhood. All your neighbor's houses are getting broken into. Well, in this lifestyle, you just move your house. You just move it. And look at the situation. As someone tries to get into your house, well, you're stuck with dealing with them. And in my van, I just kick them in the face and drive away. Well, mind you, I live in Canada, so things are pretty mellow out here for the most part. For the most part. Don't get me wrong, we got our gangs and our crime stuff. But they pretty much just kill each other, so they leave me alone. And I've never really had a break-in or bad confrontation with anybody in my adult life. The only problems I had with people were the dicks in high school that picked on me for being fat. So, yeah, adult life's been pretty damn good. Van life has been pretty awesome. And please, don't knock on my van door. Please don't. I mean, if something were to go sideways, I do have knives in the van. Like, I got one right back here by the back door. It's just a pocket knife. And I got another one up front here. And for the most part, they were just like used for cutting vegetables or the one in the front I used for like opening boxes or something I might buy that I can't get open with my hands. I have no need to protect myself from anything. I don't fear nothing. And I think if there was a bad confrontation outside of my van and that bang on my van last night was a problem, I'm a pretty, uh, a sort of an aggressive person. So if someone is gonna be outside my van and causing a problem, I'm not about to be inside and scared because that gives them more power. I'm the guy, like last night, I kind of pop my head, I'm like, what's up? Because I, I believe in myself, I have confidence in myself, and I have no problems. If someone's got a problem, well, one thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna stand up for me, and he's gonna be a pussy and run, because that's normally what they do. Or we're gonna have the same problem I would have if I would have sat here and scared and gave him power. I'm not giving anybody power. I've been bullied before. And if you wanna bang on my van door and bring a problem to my world, then buddy, it is freaking go time and you better be ready for it because I'm gonna bring whatever I can bring. And I think everybody should treat their life the same way. Love who you are, own who you are, and don't be scared of things. You gotta stand up in every situation, no matter what it is, if someone's picking on you about the shoes you wear or they got a problem with you at your house, in your neighborhood, whatever. You gotta stand strong, you gotta stand confident and just be the best you you can be. And a lot of times for most people, if you're like, hey man, what's up? They're not gonna expect that reaction. They're gonna expect you to cower and wuss out and give them all the power in the world to take over the situation that they thought they had control of. Don't give them the control. Be you. I mean, I guess maybe my advice might not be good for everybody because I'm just a friendly little Canadian in a friendly little country where we say please and thank you and sorry, 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 sorry for everything. But the only thing in my van I think I have to worry about is maybe a crazy wild moose or a bear. Yep, real Canadian problem.